Let's bring in meteorologist Natalie Ferrari. Now, the thing is, Natalie, is this storm is moving so slowly. Yeah, really just lowering its speed over the past 24 hours at this point, continuing to move to the northwest when it does get a little bit of forward speed with it. But as we just had the system kind of meandering through the northeastern Gulf, this is actually allowing additional moisture, even heavier rainfall amounts to fall along the Florida panhandle through parts of Alabama and even eastern Mississippi there. So this is just going to continue to have long lasting impacts, not only through today, but even into tomorrow as well. This is also pushing back landfall late, late tonight, thinking more so overnight into early tomorrow morning as a Category 1 hurricane, powerful storm still, regardless as it continues to push inland over the next 24 hours. So Sally definitely slamming the northern and even parts of the northeastern Gulf here at home. We're still see feeling the impacts with that increased cloud cover and rain. And you know what? Look at this map. There's disturbance one and three, one in the Gulf, three in the northeastern Atlantic, low potential in the coming days of development. Disturbance two, though, this one could actually be a depression by later in the week. So those are other systems that we'll be watching. Potential systems will be keeping a close eye for you. But let's talk about what's already organized out there. Hurricane Paulette continuing to glide its way. It's racing at this point to the northeast, and it is still forecast to briefly reach major hurricane status before coming back down and really just taking a very quick southerly turn in the mid-Atlantic, well away from us, no threat to the United States, thankfully. There is Tropical Storm uh, Teddy that formed early yesterday morning, moving to the west-northwest at 13 miles per hour, and this one is also forecast to become a major hurricane later in the week into the weekend. And look at this long range models continuing to aim it towards Bermuda, which was just slammed by a category uh, one, two uh, hurricane yesterday over Bermuda. So this is just going to be another one, two punch for that island nation. And then there's Vicky all the way in the Eastern Atlantic. That's going to stay well out of our hair. That one actually is going to be pretty short lived. So we probably won't be talking about Vicky much longer.